Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the trailer for Episode 13, aka the 100th episode. So this is a massive episode because we have so many returning characters. It's going to be crazy. My favorite character, Bar Supergirl, is returning. Obviously, you guys know that is mon -El. And we've got to freak out about all of that. But also, we've got to break down this trailer. This trailer doesn't reveal too much. But I'm guessing we're going to get some photos, maybe a sneak peek or two in the next week or so. And I'll be sure to break that down because I'm so ecstatic for this episode, especially because mon -El is returning. So yeah, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year or next week when we get the return of mon because we're going to be freaking out about that and you know it. So yeah, basically the trailer that was released is pretty much Mixie centric and doesn't include any of the returning characters, but we do have a couple of looks back in the past and I think the way they've done it is kind of interesting and I'm looking forward to seeing how they do it, but we're going to theorize about lots of stuff and also break this trailer down and talk about other stuff as well in this video. So without further ado, let's go into this. So the first shot of the trailer is in Inside Kara's apartment just where we ended last night's episode so we've got Kara and Alex are in the same clothes they've just had that talk on the couch about relationships and stuff and then they hear the knock on the door and Mr. Mixer Spillick the new version of himself shows up and is basically like yo what's up and they don't actually know it's Mr. Mixer Spillick as it's very aware in this trailer so yeah we'll get onto that in a second but the first shot is Kara and Kara is saying who are you and tell me what you want something like that I'm paraphrasing that's not exactly what she says but essentially she doesn't realize that it is actually Mixie because Mixie didn't look like that and they're not just like recasting for the sake of it basically I think it's very smart that they've gone the way that oh you know they don't recognize him because you know he actually looks different because you know he's not the original Mixie he's a different version and there's obviously going to be some sort of explanation and I prefer that they're explaining it rather than Kara and Alex be like, oh, Mixie, I remember you, even though you look nothing like that in the past. So yeah, I'm kind of happy with the way that they've done this. Then we move on to the next shot. We've got Mixie, and this is, again, in the sort of doorway, and he's with Kara and Alex, and he's like, I am Mr. Mixie's Pidlick, and they obviously don't believe him. And then he goes on to say, I am offering you a do-over. And this is where the sort of influence from It's a Wonderful Life comes in. He's sort of playing the Clarence character. If you guys have seen It's a Wonderful Life, I really recommend it. It's one of the best films ever. But also, I think you guys should watch it before you see this episode. So go watch it. It's not very long. And it's an amazing film. It's one of the best films ever. But basically, Clarence is an angel. He comes down and he shows George Bailey, the main character in the film what life would be like without him and his presence and how the town would turn to absolute hell like it would be absolutely terrible without his life and so I think you know this is where it's a super life as the episode is titled comes in because you're gonna see Kara and her potentially not being there what life would be like or maybe if she made different decisions maybe to do with Lena maybe to do with mon -El, maybe to do with anyone in the past what consequences that would have and I think that's the role that Mixie's playing in this episode so the next shot is of Kara as Kara listens to Mixie it seems like and then we cut to this next shot and Mixie snaps his fingers and Kara disappears and so maybe this is her going back in the past to one of these pastimes you know she's now say the season 2 version of herself or like the season 3 version or the season 1 version of herself and she's seeing what you know the different changes she could make would affect on her and you know her friend's future and things like that and how it would all play in so then we cut to this next shot and it's actually a grave for Cara Danvers and so it says October 20th or something like that of 2018 and if you go back and look at the date, that's roughly around the start of season four. So this is probably the time that we're going to see Ben Lockwood. We know he's returning. We know Mercy and Otis Graves are returning. So I'm presuming that her death is going to be something around the reason why they are returning. And so, yeah, Kara's dead in this alternate reality that Mixie's showing her. And basically, she's going to see what life would be like if she died, if she didn't have this impact on all these people around her and, you know, the entire world. So then we move on to the next shot. We've got Kara, and Kara is sort of flinging her head around, flinging her hair around as well. 
and she's looking up into the air, some sort of threat. I don't know what it is, could be in the past or it could be in the present, but it seems like most of this episode is in the past. And then Kara proceeds to say we have to go back to the very beginning and so this is her wanting to change this stuff because Mixie's given her the chance and so she's gonna go back, we're gonna probably go to season one, season two, season three, season four and she's gonna see all these kind of key events, I don't know how big of the events are gonna be but there's gonna be different points in her life that she's going to visit and you're gonna see these returning characters like a Monel who will be season two, potentially season three, I would say it's more likely that we could get like a season two version of him. I don't know if we're gonna see like, you know, actual Monel from that time or they're just gonna like put Kara in and recreate the scenes. We know that normal version of Monel is going to be returning due to the photos they released that are on the screen right now because Monel obviously in the past didn't have that hair. The tower didn't exist where he is in these photos and also you know, everything that's going on seems to suggest that he is probably going to be mainly in the present, but obviously there is the option that potentially you have flashbacks to Mono in Season 2, Season 3 when they recreate stuff. I think that has a very high chance. And so, yeah, so Mono is one of the big returning characters this episode. Obviously, you'll have lots of other ones sort of cameoing and scattered throughout the episode. We don't know everyone right now. I hope there's some really good surprises. Obviously Monel coming back was a major surprise and I love that they actually revealed it. Obviously it would have been crazy if he just like popped up out of nowhere. It's still gonna be crazy. But anyway, so let's move on to talk about the next shot in the trailer. The next shot in the trailer is Kara and she's at a press conference and she rips open her shirt, her coat, to reveal that she's Supergirl to the public and this is a press conference so she's revealing her identity. So what the frick's happening here? Well this is part of you know the sort of it's a wonderful life situation in that you know she is revealing herself like this is a probably like a moment in time where it's like what happens if Supergirl was revealed to the world? What effect would it have on Lena and Kara's relationship? and you know all the repercussions that this would bring how this would affect her family and friends because you know that's a big part of why she keeps her identity a secret is so that they aren't affected and this is obviously a situation where she is revealing herself and I think potentially she will see the repercussions of this but then we move on to the next shot it's kind of bright it's very overexposed this is her pulling out like some pods from the wall I don't know exactly what it is but she's ripping it out and things are going kind of crazy then we move on to this next shot this is her talking about you know we have to do this we have to go back in time essentially to Mixie and then going back in time we see this this is from season three if you remember I do believe it's actually from one of the early episodes when she was you know with Lena and I think this was maybe the Morgan Edge episode so maybe Morgan Edge comes back or something like that but I specifically remember this outfit and so it does look like this is probably in Lena's place and it's just super exciting to see you know the old hairstyle and the old sort of looks because season to season there is changes they are very subtle sometimes or they're more obvious obviously in this season with the hair change and also with the costume change but then you know you can see from the outfits you recognize you're like oh shit this is from this episode this is from this season whatever like that and so we move on to the next shot and this is really interesting the way that they're potentially doing the time travel is Mixie and Kara are watching from like an old box TV the sort of rewinding throughout her life and you know the last few years I guess from season one to two three and four and now five and this shot is from season two I believe and you can just see from the hairstyle once again but I think it's a really cool concept that maybe they're flicking through her life and, you know, she goes to these different points when they pause it or something like that. And so we cut to the next shot, we see their reaction to one event that's happened. Maybe it's a natural event or it could be, you know, one of the repercussions of her changing whatever she wants to change. So you see her, she's got her hands on her mouth, Mixie's very shocked, so something's going on here. And the final shot of the trailer is absolutely fantastic. It's back in season one this is very much so a season one look you know she's got a bit longer hair her hair's a bit more sort of wavy and curly and this is definitely you know back then and I can't wait because this gets me very nostalgic all this so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video please be sure to subscribe 
so you don't miss any videos in the future, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.